My next guest today is Dr. Jonathan Guevara. He is the president of the Florida Keys Community College. Recently, Dr. Guevara had the honor of flying as a VIP passenger with the U.S. Navy's famed Blue Angels. Lieutenant Ryan Chamberlain, pilot of the Seven Jet, took Dr. Guevara for the ride of a lifetime. Dr. Guevara, what was it like flying with the Blue Angels? There are not enough words to describe. Uh, amazing, spectacular, incredible, um, physically and mentally challenging and demanding. Um, you know, you get into so many roles, turns, and the pilots love it if you actually give them a chance to do some of the maneuvers that they actually learn and they practice. For me, the biggest takeaway was not so much my experience, but the fact that these guys, you know, these, these men and women, they pull seven, 7.3 uh, gravitational force pull on a regular basis, but they do this in combat. So as a civilian to experience that, it was certainly once in a lifetime. It's an incredible experience and I'd do it again. <laughs> I wish that I could do it someday too. It was awesome to see the video. Now Dr. Guevara, I understand that April is National Community College Month. What is the FKCC doing for this? Well, it is indeed. Um, <clears throat> I serve on the board for the American Association of Community Colleges and um, community colleges have been around for well over a hundred years and when you think about what this means Florida Community Colleges have been around for at least 55 years. We will be celebrating our 50th anniversary at the college in a couple of years. But the community colleges have not really bragged or boasted about the things that they've done for their local economy. The 28 colleges in the Florida college system, uh, there was an economic impact study that was released last month, I believe, in the state capitol. And it showed that the 28 colleges accounted for over $26 billion in actual economic support of the state between students, what they learn, um, what they put back into the economy, and of course, the spending that the colleges engage in. For us at FKCC, it means a significant return of over 15% on a student investment. And the, we also bring in students into the county from outside of the county and outside of the state. So there is that economic impact as well. Overall, the study indicates that the college accounts for close to $55 million into the Monroe County in terms of its economic impact between what students put back in, their return on investment in their education, those who receive an education and stay here. But I think you know, one of the more significant things also is that it shows why it is important for us to make sure that this institution remains a healthy educational option for this community. Mm -hmm. Well, speaking of it remaining a healthy institution, you have a student that just received a great honor and he was named to the All-State Academic Team. We do, and uh, Cameron Henry and I uh, traveled to Daytona yesterday and he received his award through the Phi Theta Kappa International Honor Society which is the honor society for all students at community colleges and Cameron is I mean he's just a great young man you know he's always got this great big smile every time I see him you know I'll say something like you know what are you up to now because he always has this great big smile and you wonder you know what's going on beneath that <laughs> smile um, and, you know, about 125 students were honored. Uh, many of the colleges were there, college presidents were there. He had a chance to attend a business roundtable to speak to business leaders from a variety of setting, everything from the LPGA to manufacturing organizations. 
um, it is a true honor and a real distinct honor. I mean, he's the only student from FKCC to be at this. And in addition to him being in Phi Theta Kappa, he's also one of our student ambassadors. Um, you know, he's in the Student Government Association, the Scuba Club. And uh, starting in the fall, he'll graduate this semester. He will be attending the University of Central Florida to pursue his degree in, um, in management and uh, a minor in entrepreneurship. He tells me that he later wants to go on to do some work in sports management. So he's got a great future ahead of him. Oh, it sounds like, it sounds like he's a good kid, too. He so. is a really, really great kid. Great. Really, really great. Now, it's April, so that means summer is upon us. And you have summer courses. People need to enroll right now. We do indeed, and, um, and now is the time to do that. We are, um, we are providing opportunities for students through with some funding that we have available. If you want to live in the residence hall and you want to be a full-time student, we are providing opportunities for you where we'll basically pay for a couple of the classes that you take, but you'll have to be a full-time student. Um, we're registering now. We have the 12-week term, which starts on May 6th, ends July 28th, and then we have two six-week sessions uh, starting on May 6th, ending June 16th, and the second one on June 17th to July 28th. And as I said before, you know, scholarships are available, so don't wait. Um, when I looked last, it appeared that we have reached the enrollment that we were at last year so we're about the same pace we were at last year so mm -hmm. classes are filling up great so sign up now for the summer classes dr guevara it's always a pleasure having you on and the next time you go up in any blue angels flights let me know okay i certainly <laughs> will i certainly will i want to be flying the next time i get up yeah. there yeah all right <laughs> We're going to take a quick break right now. I'll be right back, though, after these messages, which, with much more to come.